Do you think there's intelligent life out there in the universe? Let's open up with an easy question. I have a minority view here, actually. When I give public lectures, I often ask for a show of hands who thinks there's intelligent life out there somewhere else. And almost everyone puts their hands up. And when I ask why, they'll be like, oh, there's so many galaxies out there. There's got to be. But I'm a numbers nerd, right? So when you look more carefully at it, it's not so clear at all. The, the, when we talk about our universe, first of all, we don't mean all of space. We actually mean, I don't know, you can throw me the universe if you want. It's behind you there. <laughs> it's, we simply mean the spherical region of space from which light has had time to reach us so far during the 13.8 billion, year, billion years since our Big Bang. There's more space here, but this is what we call a universe because that's all we have access to. Mm -hmm. So is there intelligent life here that's gotten to the point of building telescopes and, and computers? My guess is no, actually. The probability of it happening on any given planet is some number we don't know what it is. And um, what we do know is that uh, the number can't be super high because there's over a billion Earth-like planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone, many of which are billions of years older than Earth. And um, aside from some... Um, UFO believers, you know, there isn't much evidence that any super advanced civilization has come here at all. And so that's the famous Fermi paradox, right? And, and then if you, if you work the numbers, what you find is that um, if, if you have no clue what the probability is of getting life on a given planet, so it could be 10 to the minus 10, 10 to the minus 20, or 10 to the minus 2, or any power of 10 is sort of equally likely if you want to be really open-minded. Mm -hmm. That translates into it being equally likely that our nearest neighbor is 10 to the 16 meters away, 10 to the 17 meters away, 10 to the 18. Now, by the time you get much less than, than 10 to the 16 already, we, we pretty much know there is nothing else that close. Yeah. Uh, and when you get beyond Because they would have discovered us. They, yeah, they would have been discovered us long ago, or if they're really close, we would have probably noted some engineering projects that they're doing. Yeah. And if it's beyond 10 to the 26 meters, that's already outside of here. Yeah. So, so my guess is actually that there are, we are the only life in here that's gotten to the point of um, building advanced tech, which I think is, is very, um, puts a lot of responsibility on our shoulders to not screw up. You know, I, I think Absolutely. people who take for granted that it's okay for us to screw up, have an accidental nuclear war, or go extinct somehow because there's a sort of Star Trek-like situation out there where some other life forms are going to come and bail us out and it doesn't matter so much, I think they're lulling us into a false sense of security. Right. I think it's much more prudent to say, hey, like, let's be really grateful for this amazing opportunity we've had and uh, make the best of it just in case it is down to us.